This topic in general is serious. I don't know why this community is not taking it serious. We're not blind, we're not deaf. We see how many people we bury every week and it's mainly due to substance abuse, even the murders. Nobody in their right mind is gonna just get up and kill somebody. There's people killing their own friends because they're so high out of their mind and then they wake up the next day, like, did I do that? It's, it's serious, you know? And then we think it's not our kid until your kid is dead or until your kid's in jail. Nobody wants to be an addict. Nobody grows up and says, hey, I'm gonna be a drug addict when I grow up. Nobody. We're not losers. We're human beings. We're Muslim. We're alive. We're here. But you guys just look at us like we're nobody, like we're not there, like you don't hear us, like you don't see us, knowing that your sons or daughters are probably just like us, but you don't want to admit to it. And like one of the brothers up here said, they won't even admit to their kid that overdosed. Like they're not even dealing with their own pain. Like that's how much of a taboo it is. Imagine as a mom burying your kid and then lying about why your kid died. You know how, how that would hurt as a mom? That hurts. We're human beings, you know, you are a product of your environment. I'm 33, I've been here since I was two. I'm talking in English because that's all I know. Like when I was younger, I hate to say this, but I kind of knew this community was something like this was gonna happen because the ignorance of it, you know, like, I was like 15, smoking weed, but I'm a crackhead because I'm smoking weed. But looking now, people are really smoking crack. For real. Go stand on Chicago and Franklin. You guys just need to make it easier. And like, no disrespect to the mom earlier. She was saying like, when girls use and stuff, nobody wants to marry them. That's not true because half these boys are just like us. They're insecure. They're probably gonna think, who can I get besides a drug addict wife? I feel free. I don't know how to explain it. Being addicted to something, like you guys know a hamster that runs in this little circle thing? That's the life. Like you're just running in a circle that never stops until death or something hits you. Addiction is real and it's hitting this community harder than ever because of our ignorance. We just want to hide stuff. Like, like no. It's way past Eb right now because we're burying at least twice of the youth. It's two people a week, normal. Like, it's like normal now. If it's not an overdose, it's a shooting. I'm 33. I know over 10 people that are dead. That's not okay. My best friend's in a wheelchair. A girl. And she wasn't even an addict. She was just partying at the wrong place at the wrong time. Well, you guys don't know the stuff I've seen with girls. Like, we would leave the club or whatever, and she would leave with any random guy because she knows she can't go home drunk. You know, there's girls out here blacked out off Xanax getting raped and they can't even tell their mom because they're gonna get snapped on. Imagine being raped and not being able to tell nobody because you're gonna get blamed for being raped. No, there's a lot happening to the girls and you guys need to talk about it, a lot. Like, we're Benny Allen too, we're human beings, you know? Like, we fell into the trap of this life. And it happens, we're not bad people. I guess you could say I was like a functioning addict, like I thought it was okay, I had a house, I had a job. Like, I, I was doing what I had to do. But eventually, you know, it just, it all comes to an end because it's deeper than the drug, you know? It's in, it's in our soul, something, and we're trying to fill that void. And that void can, it comes from home. You know, communication, talk to your kids. Like, not habar them, not kick them out. Like, understand them, like, it's fahma. You know, like, it's, we grew up in two different worlds. You guys grew up in Africa, and again, we grew up here. It's, it's temptations, you wanna fit in. Now that I'm older, I regret a lot of stuff. When I was younger, I thought I was fine. Like, there's nothing wrong with what I'm doing. There's nothing wrong with smoking weed. The first time I knew something was wrong, is when I went and spent my own money to buy pills. But it didn't stop me. It only got worse. Like you said, I had a $200 habit a day. Imagine and take a can of $200 every day. You're gonna become a criminal. You're gonna steal. You're gonna do stuff. Because if you don't get that drug, you're gonna be sick. 
You're going to be on the toilet throwing up and shitting on yourself, literally. You think any Benny Adams is going to sit there and do that? No, you're going to go get your fix. We don't talk about problems in our community. If a girl gets touched by an uncle or something or whatever, does she go talk to her family? No. She just knows when she's 14 or 15, oh, I hit this blunt. That feels good. I'm going to keep doing that. Because once you do that, you know that negative feeling in your heart stops. So you just keep going and keep going and keep going. And then you're just going to see you're lost in it. And when I say lost, I swear to God, it's, it's just that. You feel so lost. But at a certain point, you got to love yourself. You got to love your mom. When I think about how much pain I caused my mom, it just makes me cry till this day. Well, I have the best mom in the world, but yet I caused her so much heartache. Will any of you do something that you know you have 50-50 chance of doing it? You wouldn't, right? If you're gonna die, you wouldn't. So what do you think is hurting these kids so bad that they're taking that risk just for a moment to be high? They know they could die, but they still do it. That's pain. They have that much pain in their heart. They probably low-key want to die. When I was in my addiction, when I woke up certain mornings, that's how I felt. Ilahi just, just killed me, because I'm useless, I'm kasaro. That's really how I felt. I used to wake up and be like, why am I still alive? It's just, it's, it's just painful, you guys. I know too many people that die that I'm close to. They shouldn't be dead. They didn't even make it to their 30th birthday.